so I'm back with another video. This video is going to be my about my best riding reel arsenal. And if y'all don't know, I got four riding reel combos. And I'm going to be breaking it down to you how I use them and why I use them and how I got it rigged because I haven't rigged up how I use them. And this video is going to be a banger. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so y'all know when I post. I'm going to try to post every two weeks, uh, every week. All right, you guys? I'm going to be get straight into it. All right? Now, this first riding reel, I'm going to have all of my rides are bait casters. So, this first one, I learned how to cast bait casters with it. And this one, I have 15-pound mono on here. And it, this is a six foot six foot six, moderate, medium heavy, and I have it rigged with a weightless tube right here. Y'all see that? Then I have a slab daddy bait caster. Yeah, and this bait caster is made for sakale. But I use it for bass because it's big enough and I really don't, it really doesn't matter what you have, what gear you have. All that matters is catching them big old fish. And the second one I have, this is my second or third rod I had, but I lost one of my rods because it broke in half. But this one is a, I got, the reel is an Abu Garcia. The rod is a Bass Pro Shops brand, and this one I have it rigged with a belly weighted hook with a screw lock with a frog, plastic frog. And I have 15 pound braid on here. This this rod is a six foot, um, this is a moderate action and medium heavy. I really like medium heavies. And that one I normally, fish it around grass. And this one I have 12 pound, 12 pound floral. This is a seven foot medium heavy, fast action. And I have 12 pound floral, like I said already. And I have it rigged with a shaky head, zoom finesse worm, right there, with a finesse black hook black jiggy hook and I want to see the reel this this is quantum I got this from Bass Pro Shops it was on sale when I got it I wasn't planning to get a rod and reel but I got it and I got it spooled up with 12 pound sunline and this one I use for frog fishing jigs mostly this is a loose this is a loose um, Mach 2 speed and I use this one for Frog, like I said, take it off. I got a rig with a topwater frog, green at the top, white at the bottom. This is a 7.3. This is a tall, tall rod. And this is a 7 1 to 1 gear ratio. This is a fast, fast reel. And the Abu Garcia is a 5 4 to 1. The Quantum is a 6 1 to 1. And this is a 7 10 ball bearings. And I really like this because it has the grips at the bottom. Really wet water grips. When your hands get wet, you're supposed to grip it more, but I never tested it out. And I really like the way it fits in my hand. Really fits snug. And I have 15 pound braid on this too. I really like 15 because it's not too big in diameter. It's not too heavy either. And I really like this reel and rod. It's a smooth, smooth combo, you guys. And this, I'm gonna be breaking down the details for y'all. This one, as I said already, 10 to 25 pound braid or mono, whatever line you wanna put on here. But this one is a medium heavy. I really like medium heavy, moderate taper. And the lure weight is one half ounce to three eighths ounce. I really don't fish heavy, heavy baits, lures, but I really like fishing kind of light because 
if you have a heavy lure and a fish, if you can't say you cast in front of the fish, your bait going so fast down on the fish not even go get to see the bait. So if you got a lighter bait, it's go fall, fall, and the fish might have time to come and hit it while it's on the way down. You never know. You could miss more of your bites with heavier lures. And this, this video was kind of a short video, you guys, but I hope you guys liked it. Be back with another one. Stay tuned. All right.